So in this video, I'm gonna start with a completely new concept. We're gonna create an app, so I'm gonna to go to O, Milkman. Did I name it right? Let's go back. Milkman, yep, next, next is fine. Empty is fine, finish. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into object-oriented design in Android. So while this is creating, this should take just a few more seconds, then I'll show you some concepts. I just came up with this crazy example. I don't really know what to call else to call it, but it should give you a little, and this will take a second to load, so just give it a couple of seconds. I have a fairly fast machine. I have a the new MacBook Pro. It's late, it's, it's late 2016. I got it about a month ago, but it's a good machine. Uh, and this is loading. Okay, now first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Control R to run it, and I have an emulator set up, so I'm gonna get that going, and that should take a couple of seconds. But say we have a concept of, so let's do something really quick. Well, my emulator is, I'll just wait for the emulator for just a second. Hopefully this will, let's see, got my emulator going. Nope, not yet. Physical, physical devices are generally a little bit faster, at least to set up it. Here it is, and just wait a couple of seconds, um, and this should come. Let's go ahead and start with an object. So let's do milk man, man equals new milk man. And he has a name, and he has an age. Um, we'll do uh, 30. So this is an object right here. It's called a milkman. So you have, usually when you do this, you have your new keyword, and you have milkman. Now you can see it's red right now because we don't even have that class created. So let's make sure we're in Android. I'm gonna go into Android, Java. I'm gonna go into here, and so on the, so on the same thing that there is main activity, go up a folder and not in, as you can see there are test folders there, not one of the test folders. So I'm gonna go up here and go new class, mill man. And you can see this should clear some things up. So right now, look, we have a milkman. The variable name is man and we have new milkman. So that's how you create an object of the type milkman. Now we have a couple of things, like we're passing in, I'll, let me go ahead and just get rid of this. And that is a perfectly normal object. So I can do Control R again on Mac, and it should run just fine. So it'll take a couple of seconds, and this should run just fine. So basically what we have, we have a man. We can name this anything. We can name it ASDF. We can name it anything. But we're, if you hold down the, if you're on Mac, if you hold down the Command key, put your mouse over Milkman and click on it, it'll take you directly to the class. So this is a Java class, and it's inside of, I named it Milkman, as you can see. And let's add some properties here. So um, let's see, private, um, and I'll, I'll probably, you probably don't know what this means, but I'll explain it as I kind of go along in future videos. Let's just do this. Let's do string name. Um, so we have a name now. So we should be able to do Something like that. Right, so let's name him uh, Daniel. Now this is kind of not a good practice, but this will work. So basically what we're saying, get the milkman, hold it in ASDF. Then let's call a property on it. So in ASDF, we have name. And if we go back to our milkman, you can see, yeah, we have a name there. But we can go one step further. We can do string, we can do int age. So we have an age now. So now let's go back here and let's do ASDF.age. And you can see it's automatically out of selecting that for us. So we'll do um, 25 or however old he is. Let's say I'm the milkman. I'm 24, about to turn 25. So we'll just do me. I'm the milkman. So this is an object. All of this is an object. These um, these variables are they're working just fine. So if we wanted to log out, so say we want to do log d, and I'll get to this later, but just type log d, enter a couple of times plus asdf.name. Then we add, need to add log t, just type log t at the type right, right below there, and there we go. So let's go ahead and save it and run it and see what happens. And we'll look in the Android monitor to monitor things. Did it run? Yeah, so here it is. So I'm using the search keyword here. So to open this up, just so you can follow along, go to Android Monitor. Then you can search for, oh, make sure you're on that one. And you can type in, what do we call it? 
on create. So on create. So there it is on create Daniel. So we're see we're accessing that. So we basically what we need to do is just make sure we have a new variable and let's I'm gonna name that So I'm gonna name that the person, I'm just refactoring that. But this should help you understand what an object is. So we do have milkman, the person, we're naming the variable person. So we can call person.name, person.age, all because over here we have name and age. Now if we wanted to do gender, say we do string gender. Well now we have access to that. So let's go back to here, let's do the person. Because remember, that's what we instantiated with. We named it the person dot gender. And we have it selected there because we just created the variable right there. So this is the basics. Hopefully this is making sense. Uh, we name that a string. Yeah, so string, so I'll do male. So that's me. And we can do the same thing down here. I'm gonna do another line with Command D. And we'll do age. Another one, gender. So I'm gonna run this application with Control R. And as soon as this shows up, it should log hat. It should output to the debugger here. And here we go, age 24 male. So this is all working, this is an object. So uh, hopefully this is making sense, but let's do something else. Let's get rid of all of that. And let's do something. Let's create, so we have these variables in Milkman. This is our object, Milkman is called our object. It has a name, it has an age, it has a gender and all that kind of stuff. But let's do something else. Let's go down a little bit, option enter on, uh, control enter on a Mac actually. And see where it says constructor. I can go up and down with the up arrows and select stuff. We want constructor. Then let's select all of these. And so here you can see, you know, string name and integer age, gender string. So just select all of them because you can just select one of them if you want. But let's select all of them. Hold down the shift key and select them all. Hit OK. And there we go. So now let's, what can we do with this? This shouldn't give us an error because it's expecting something, yeah. So if you look closely at the bottom, you'll see they're, they're have, they have red little dots there. So let's go ahead and let's just start it up again. So say you just created this class, Milkman, this is an object, all this is an object. It has some properties, the properties are name, age, and gender. So let's go here and do milk. It'll just start with the keyword, whatever the class name is, so in this case, public class milkman so it has to be called milkman so man equals new milk and I'm just auto completing it and you can see what it takes here and you can see like as a gender so male put commas Daniel as you put commas it'll highlight in yellow what it is so you can see yellow oh, it just went away but 24 and this is valid so now well let's do something else I don't want to get too confused uh, actually, let's let's do one more thing. Log D. Let's do dot name. Let's name it something else. Let's name it uh, Bob. It's gonna do Melody. I'll just do Bob. So we have. So we should have. So this is creating a new object of type Milkman with male, Bob, and twenty four. And if we go and look at it here, you can see yeah, it's taken in the Milkman. It's the, it's called the constructor, and it's taken in gender. It's taken in a string of name, and it's taken in an integer of h. So this should work. I'm going to save it and run it. And this should take a couple of seconds, and then it will run. So it closes, it opens back up in the emulator. Let's go in here, and there he is, Bob. So here's, here's all the output. But if we limit it down to on create, you can see the name is Bob. So this is basic object-oriented design. So let's do something else. Let's get rid of, let's do something else. Let's just get rid of everything and start over just so we have, just so we have a good grasp on it. So we created a class Milkman. Let's do something else. Let's do private and name. I uh, know uh, we got to do string, private string. So I'm going to do this, and you, you don't have to do this, but you can just, on your own, just kind of watch and see what I'm doing here. But I'm going to create getters and setters. So again, control enter. I'm going to do constructor. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to hit, so there we go. Now I'm also going to do control enter, getters and setters. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to hit OK. So it just generated a bunch of code for us, but what exactly did that do? 
basically what it did is it created some new methods for us. So let's go back to here. Let's do so we go so we know our class is called milkman. So public class milkman is the name of it. So we need to we start with that. So milkman man equals new milkman. And wait a second, it'll tell us what it wants and what's the name. So Bob Mail uh, 24. So there's your new milkman. But let's do something else. Let's do log D, type log D and add, enter it in. So let's do one more thing. Let's put our mouse over here. And let's do man dot. And look what we have. We have get gender, get name, get age. So these are called getters and setters. So what we're doing is we're going in, it's going inside of Milkman. It's saying, hey, find me something called get, oh, I need to, I need to set something up. But basically it says um, get name and it's returning the name. The name is the same thing as it is right here. This is probably kind of confusing, but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So instead of actually accessing the, the um, so instead of accessing like what we do, you know, man.m, See, we don't even we can't even we can't even do dot name anymore because we'd have to make that public. So private is generally better. And now m name. See, now we have access to name, but we have it private. So if it, because it's private, we can't access it. It kind of hides behind it. So man dot get m name, and this should output the name. So I'm going to run it in the emulator. Wait for a second for it to load in the emulator. And I'm going to open up this and uncreate and see there there it is, Bob. So this is a little crash course on what objects is. And normally I'd have something set up where I'd get rid of the M, so I'd just be get name, set name. Yes, we have setters also. So here we can do something else. Let's get rid of, let's do this. Let's get rid of the constructor. So now we just have the get name and set name. Get gender, set gender, get age, set age. So we have just those. We can take away this. And so we have this is perfectly valid. Then to set it, what we do, our, our variable is named man right now. So we'll do this. So we'll do man dot. And then you can see we can get name or we can set it. So let's do let's do set name. Then the same thing, man dot set. What else should we do? Age 24. Man dot set and gender. So the, this is our milkman object and we're just get we're just I'm trying to make this as least little confusing as possible. I'm just trying to make this a simple a simple little example so you can follow along. I know I know it took me a long time to get the concept of this. It took me a while to just try to figure out, you know, what is an object and how does it all work? But our man is an object right now. It's a milkman. We can set it and we can also do so we can log man.get. So just like we have set there and set there and set there, we can do git. Yeah, let's do git name. Save it, run it. I'm going to clear the log cat really quick. And see name is Daniel and that should be what our name is. And yeah, we set the name as Daniel. So instead what we're doing is we're going into our milkman class and we're saying, hey, we need to set name. So it's taking a string as a parameter and then it's saying set this dot name, which is the same thing as this right here, and set it as m name. So hopefully this made sense. If you need any questions, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to every single one of them. Uh, I should have time for that. So this is kind of a crash course on what an object is. Hopefully, like yeah, this might be it might be better to call it something like, let's see. So it might be better to call it something like user. So now we change the class to user. I was just using some refactoring tools, but we won't we won't get into that right now. But now our man is a user, and we can set you know set username, set password, set email address. So you can see all this is useful, and we're using getters and setters. You know, like I mentioned before, we have get a, get get name, set name, get gender, set gender, get age, set age. So all of this stuff. These are and these are called methods. So that's a method. That's a method. That's, they're, they're all methods and it's returning property. So we have an, those are, that's a property, that's a property, and that's a property. We're making all of those private so we can't access them directly, but we're forcing you to use 
something like a, a method name where it actually returns a string or returns a string or something like that. So anyway, hopefully this made wasn't too confusing and hopefully you made at least a little bit of sense. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get I'll I'll respond to them all. Thanks.